Advanced Algebra 2 Unit 1A Study Guide Review for the Test. So we're in Concept 1A Rewriting Formulas and Equations, numbers 19 through 22. So on number 19, notice the directions have two parts. It says solve the equation for y, then find the value of y for the given value of x. So first of all, we need to take this equation and solve for y. So I'm going to move everything over that does not have a y term in it. So notice I move the 3x over. So I get 40 plus 3x on the right side of the equal sign. Now I'm going to divide by x so I can get y by itself. So y will equal 40 plus 3x over x. That's my first answer. Okay, that is the equation rewritten in y equals form. Now I'm going to plug in 5 for x. So 40 plus 15 over 5, so 55 over 5, or 11. Number 20, I'm going to do the same thing. So <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is add the 28 over, so away from the 3xy term. Now I need to divide away the 3 and the x, so y is by itself. Notice I divide 16x plus 28 all by 3x. So that's my first answer. Now I'm going to plug in 4 for x. So y will equal 16 times 4, which is 64, plus 28 over 12. 92 over 12, or I can reduce that to 23 thirds. Number 21 is a little tricky, and this is a good one to be sure to know how to do. So we have our y spread out in two terms that we cannot combine. So to get the y isolated, we need to factor out that y, or reverse distribute. So when I do that, I end up with 1 minus 2x. So look at that for a moment. If I multiplied that y back, distributed it back, I would get what I started with. So we have done reverse distribution, or that's called factoring out, and that will equal 15. Now divide both sides by 1 minus 2x. So y will equal 15 over 1 minus 2x. First answer. Now we're going to plug in negative 1 for x. So 1 plus 2, 15 over 3, or 5. All right, 21. Same thing. Notice we have the y in two terms that we can't combine. So the first thing you want to do is to move the 4x over to the other side of the equal sign by subtracting. Now factor out a y from each of those terms. Dist uh, reverse distribute. So you'll end up with 7 plus 5x, equaling negative 4x. Then divide each side by 7 plus 5x. So your first answer is y equals negative 4x over 7 plus 5x. And now plug in 1 for x. So you get negative 4 over 7 plus 5, or negative 4 twelfths, or negative 1 third.